Gabriel, what a pleasure it is for me to talk to you this morning. How are you doing? Okay, Manny. Nice. Thank you. Yourself. It, it, it's a real pleasure to, to talk to you just because of the fact that, I mean, I, I love this kind of movie. Uh, just, you know, it's just a lot of fun. It's almost like films that aren't necessarily made anymore be, just because, for whatever reason. Um, when you're approaching a film where you have established action actors like a Jason Statham and you have a a uh, director like a David Ayer who has a particular style that you've seen in his action films in the past. How do you approach it? What's the first things that you do in order to prepare? Well, the first thing is really to talk with David very, very, very seriously about what we're doing. And David, David has got an expression. He says, I want to put corazón. I want to put a heart in my films. And because we speak Spanish, David and I, David speaks a fantastic vernacular Spanish from the north of Mexico. So even people who speak Spanish don't understand what we're talking about because his Spanish is very, very vernacular. Anyway, so uh, then we talk about it and we have, and, and it's wonderful when you work with a director that has got a vision. And that's the reason why this film is wonderful because it comes with corazón, comes with a vision, comes with idea, get the color, the palette, the position of the camera, the way that we're gonna shoot it, the way that we're gonna try, the precision in which we're gonna do it. And the fact that Jason Staten on his own right is that, he's a precise actor. He, he really studies what he needs to do. He's not only just an action star that trains and, and knows how to lift his leg and throw a punch. He actually works on the little subtle and nuances elements that they are in his performance. And that is absolutely wonderful. And that's the way that David works. And obviously I have to go into that because that's exactly the way that I like to work. Not every time, because a lot of the times I depend on the director's vision, but with David, it's a pleasure to be able to go into this realm. And and I have to ask, you, you know, you just you're just talking about speaking with David in Spanish, and then you have Eddie as a stunt coordinator. It gets me really excited to see you know Latinos and I see see Mexicans, in, you know, working on these big budget films for Hollywood and and really really highlighting you know our culture and the fact that we are in this industry and we're very important. What does that mean to you to to be able to have people like that on your team, more Latinos? I think it's fundamentally important, but not only the fact that the Latinos are there. I think it's great when you say, okay, that Mexican or Latin American director or director of photography is making a film, a Hollywood film. And, and it's great, you know, that we love it. But I think the most important thing is that now we are not only there, but we are bringing our culture into what is so needed for the industry. So otherwise films are gonna die. Television, when I, we continue with the same formula and we don't bring film to become an a, 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 a art form, this is going to be the end of film because that it will not be anything that exciting for the audiences to see anymore. And then just the little stick top pieces are going to destroy us. So people need to come to the cinema now to see an experience. So what the Latins are, are coming here, are bringing here, is that artistic background that we have, that we that we are born with, that we that we he ate and and and, and suck and and that was part of us, and bring that artistic vision into what is an artistic art form that has forgotten that is an art form, and that's great. So before the Latins, we used to come to Hollywood and we adapt. We wanted to be, you know, we wanted to be mixed there and not even notice that we were Latin. I remember that when I arrived, people used to call me Bernstein and instead Betty Stein, you know, from being a, a, a Polish Russian name to uh, instead of a Basque name, you know, Betty Stein is Basque. But, but, it, but it was important for it. I needed to just blend. But now, now we don't need to do that. Now we say, okay, now you need us. But you need us not only as people, we need us as artists. We need us, we need, you need our corazón. You need to work hard. That's a beautiful answer, and I completely agree with you. It, it's really nice to see some of some of the nuances that we grew up with. Uh, you know, the flavors of our food, the flavors of our art, now try, you know coming onto the big screen, and people like you to to bring it to us. Uh, speaking speaking of some of that flavor, some of that some of that awesome work that you've done, I gotta ask you, what was your experience on working on 
on that fight scene on on that sequence the hallway sequence near the end that was eddie's telling me that was one of his favorite sequences and i have to ask from a director a cinematographer from your point of view what what was that what was uh, doing that shot because that shot was really cool that entire sequence oh yeah the whole way is fantastic with the mirrors and all that that sequence the one with the the, the whole way with the yes. mirrors yeah no, yes. no fantastic fantastic no that was phenomenal phenomenal because you know there was full of mirrors and then it was he was Taylor. He was playing with Taylor James and uh, fighting, and they were they were so great. And how the camera needed to be there, and and it's great because we have to let the we couldn't be there on the set. We couldn't be. It was shadows everywhere, reflections everywhere. So we needed to be on the monitors watching it, and making sure that our cameras were going to be getting everything that it was there. Uh, it was phenomenal, phenomenal sequence. And again, the same thing because we work with precision. And that's what we brought into this film. A lot, all of us, a lot of precision. Nothing was random. Nothing was left uh, just to happen. We really tried to make sure that everything was, what Eddie did was phenomenal. What everyone did over there was a work of precision and intelligence and a lot of passion. But we didn't let it, we didn't let it just go. We really tried to be there. We very, be, be very incredibly careful. You know, I didn't even think about the logistics of having the ca the cameras and the crew members not reflect off the mirrors. That that must have been pretty tough. Very tough. Very tough. <laughs> Gabriel, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate spending a few minutes with you. It's an orgullo to to be able to see, uh, you know, as a as a Mexican myself, uh, you, you know, guys behind the cameras and and working and 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 doing films like these that I enjoy and that a general audience can enjoy. Lovely. Thank you so much, man. It was nice to virtually meet you and hopefully we'll talk again. Anytime.